Welcome everybody to today's YouTube video. You can tell by the title, it is a what's in my football slash soccer bag. Um, and it's very simple. It's a lot of stuff, but it's all simple stuff that can be interchangeable. Um, just wanted to show you guys how I pack up. This is like, if I'm got an appointment, if I had to work um, and I couldn't have a chance to come home before a match, so I just wanted to make sure I had everything with me possible to make me comfortable. That's what I look at before I play a match is if I'm comfortable, what can I do to be comfortable? That's the most important thing to me. I don't care what I look like. I don't care anything like that. It's just what I feel comfortable with. Um, with that being said, uh, some of this might seem extravagant. Uh, maybe you're probably thinking like, wow, why would you, why would you wear a full kit type thing? But just remember guys, this is how I play. This is how I feel okay. And that's all that matters. Uh, we, it's 2023, we gotta stop with the, I see a lot on other people's videos um, of, you know, where they do like uh, videos on how to wear a sock or, or how to dress like a certain player. And they get a lot of hate from people, you know, trying to say that, oh, they probably don't even play. They, they, they suck, they can't even get in the game. And it's just like, just, it's none of your business what someone else spends their money on, how someone else f wants to dress, I guess, or feels good. Just keep that in mind watching this video. Now, I have a lot of examples in this bag and it can be interchangeable for things cheaper. You can also spend more money, that is okay. It's just whatever you can afford and whatever you like. But this is just what I have. And this is like one of the more expensive things I would say that I have and it's just a Nike utility duffel bag and it's pretty durable. Um, has a little air bubble um, air units here to make it a little bit padding that really doesn't work. And it has like a, a shoe spot to put in my uh, boots after they've been played in and are muddy. Um, so I'm gonna start off with, there's a couple pockets here in the front. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what's in those first. So let's open the bigger one just because I know there's not that much in there. So first things first, what's important for me is I have music before a game. If I'm able to, you know, put in some music before the game, I always feel better. Now these are just the sports ones that aren't going to fall out when they wrap around your ear, which I thought I would like that, but I really don't, but it's minimal the amount that I use them. So it's okay. It doesn't bother me that much. And then here I have uh, my Kindle and you're asking why? Because I'm able to um, use this as my, um, you know, board. If I want to use technology a little bit, you know, better. So I take this with me. For those reasons, I do have a whiteboard in here that I'll pull out later, but you know, just something, it's not an iPad, it's not expensive, and I've had it for a really long time, so just putting it to use. In this other pocket, we do have a needle, because of course, you need to be able to fill up your balls, <laughs> your soccer balls, your footballs with air, and then I have a little wrench for my soft ground cleats so that's in that pocket and then I have some gloves which I haven't had to use because it hasn't been cold enough last year I did but these are just your Nike field gloves they have a little bit of grip on the ball and you can use your phone whatever I'm sure you can get off-brand I'm sure you can buy Adidas maybe try to look in summertime because they'll probably be on sale um, during that time maybe um, and then also I have for the cold and, or if I know it's going to be a, uh, a, a very hard match and I'm going to be sweating a lot. I have some headbands that are, it's all how I feel that day. If I want to wear them or not, colors are red. So I have a red and a black, of course. So, and then that is it as far as the pockets go in the front. So now let's move on to gear now. This is all uh, stuff that you will need. And right away I have some 
shin guard stays. Here's a tip for me. I wear these on the outside. It might look dumb, but when I wear them on the inside, if I decide to wear them, they just get full of sweat and they just pull down with the shin guards. So they really don't even stay and they had them for a long time. So they're loosening up. But on the outside, they seem to grip to the my sock and they're okay. And these are just Nike ones, but the Nike thing is coming off. And then if I don't want to wear the full on um, guard sl um, sleeve, then I do have just this guard stay. These were very popular like when Ronaldo first came on the scene and like, you know, and started showing his brilliance in 2004, 2005, 2006, then these really blew up and you could find them in every color basically. So that's not really my thing anymore. I just use tape. Um, but yeah, something that was big back then and I just never got rid of them and, and I have them in my stuff just in case. Now, next thing, shin pads, shin guards, whatever you call them. This is very, depending on the day, how I feel. Um, sometimes I will wear the smallest shin pads I can find. These are just Nike and I actually got these from Europe, I think in Spain on a, on a website. And uh, yeah, very tiny, minimal protection. Not gonna give you anything. They are pretty thick though. I wish they were a little bit more viable, but I guess that's better that they're firm. Unlike the J Guard, which I forgot the name of these ones. I think they're just the Nike Junior. I'm not sure. The J Guard is very flexible and can bend a little bit in minimal protection, but more coverage, I guess, <laughs> which is actually the pair that I have in here. And I have these in every size from extra small to small to medium to large. And this is the large. Again, if I'm just feeling like it's going to be a little bit rougher match, I may just have a little bit more protection. Again, these aren't going to give you more, a lot of protection when you're, especially if you're going in a challenge. Um, but I am just playing rec and I just need something for the little scuffs. People give you a kick here and there. So I don't need anything terrible. Like shin guards, I don't even know if they're required in the league, but I just wear it just for peace of mind. And it's something that I just like to have um, just because, you know, not everybody has them, not everybody wears them. And then if I was actually playing like in a full of, uh, a great match and a lot of people might want to find these but i have some carbon fiber shin pads that i found on amazon and these were like 25 dollars 25 dollars so that's like the cheapest i've seen carbon fiber didn't you hear that um oh yeah and these you can find these are 10 dollars at the most but you can shop around check your rosses check your i think um ross uh your uh, out, those those stores that carry um, Marshalls, you could probably find them for cheaper. I found different colors, maybe not the white one, but I found like red, I found like blue, um, and you can find them for cheap. But again, this is not going to give you a lot of protection, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then these are a little bit better. I still think, though, if someone wants to hurt you intentionally, they're probably going to be able to do that. Um, so shin guards are there just for nicks, I feel, and little scrapes and challenges. But wearing these, I do have a little bit of peace of mind and I'll go in on a challenge versus maybe I'm kind of cautious debating it without wearing them or wearing my small ones. So yeah, just, it's just all up to the player. It's all up to how I'm feeling, how I feel before the match. Um, this, they're pretty light, but I think they are heavier than, these might be the heaviest just because of the size than these. And then of course these don't weigh nothing really. And then to go in the shin guard pocket, now I just have tape. And here's a little tip. The athletic tape, you can find it at the Dollar Tree. Dollar 25, they have white and they also have black. So there you go. There's a little tip. Go to Dollar Tree. You can get yourself some pretty decent tape and it's cheap. You can buy a whole bunch. So let's put all that stuff back in because I do have a match coming up tomorrow, of course. And now we're going to get to the good stuff of the video what I like to wear and all this stuff I've had for a very long time and it is pretty old. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I'm trying to give you something where, you know, you can kind of buy it yourself, I guess, or pack up, you know, my stuff is more decently priced. I've seen people have way too much and way expensive stuff. Some of the bigger YouTubers, you know, that do this and, you know, they're not really out there to aim at the audience who's just trying to go on a budget. 
So first off, I just have uh, my little lunchbox where I pack up my drinks. I put a little ice pack in here and put whatever drink I'm feeling. Um, Gatorade, Powerade, sometimes body armor. Um, and it's important to stay hydrated before. I drink before, I drink during, and I drink after. So I'm, I'm not very good at drinking water, so I gotta find other ways to get hydrated and you know, my sports drinks and stuff like that. Probably not the best for you, but hey, you gotta do something. And then these, um, very important for me, for before and after the game, just some slides. These are for the sake of the video are some that I've never worn yet. I have yet to break them in. But just for the sake of the video, I have my slides, but I throw them in my trunk. So then when I go to my match, um, I take off my shoes and I switch in before the trunk, or I get into my trunk before the game, and then I walk in with my slides and leave my shoes there. Outer gear, I didn't really worry about that because everybody has their own way of feeling comfortable. I like to go in like some pants, uh, a zip up of some sorts, a jacket, even on summer days, I like to wear a jacket, you know, it makes me feel like um, I stay warm, I guess. I've know I've, I've realized that when I start, when I break a little sweat before, that's the best thing for me. So I like to kind of sweat a little bit, but not get too hot. So yes, being in Florida, even in the summer, I will throw on a, a, a jacket just to stay, you know, a little bit warm, get that little glossy sweat that just kind of comes over you. That for me is the best way that I can warm up and, and faster, I guess. So now let's look at the socks. I have just a white pair that I've cut and I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial on what you can do if you decide to cut your own socks and how you can stop it from kind of spreading. So I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video how to do that. And then I have a black pair. Um, remind, again, I would figure this out before, but this is just me if I can't come home, you know, and I wanna just get ready for my game at the match. Um, and then I have some grip socks. These were actually from Amazon as well. I find good stuff on Amazon. And these were five for 20. I'm just using this pair. The only thing I don't like about these, it's not very long, not very long up there, but this, they've held up okay. Um, I have a little cheat for you guys though. And I'm, again, this is gonna be another video later on, but I also made my own and they work the same. This is just a basic Nike sock. And I added my own and this is just uh, glow in the dark paint and it grips and does the same thing. So maybe you don't want to spend all the money on a grip sock or they don't have the color. Maybe you need a certain color because not all leagues do allow you to have a white. You got to have a matching. So if you can find a matching sock or maybe just go directly to your sock without cutting it. Um, but for me, wearing like a, a regular sock is more comfortable than wearing um, the full on um, football sock for me. So this is very nice to have. These are good. I wear them out, I have four other pair, or I can wear my own if I decide to do this combo, this combo, whatever. Um, so yeah. Now we're gonna get into more of the uniform, what I wear. And first off, I have some Nike Pro. And this can, this, if you don't have Nike Pro, or you don't have an outlet you can get to and find a, a cheap steel. Um, you can wear, I have Puma boxers that are like same material, you know, you can Adidas. You don't necessarily have to get Nike Pro. I just get a discount and these were very cheap when I got them. So that's what I like to wear underneath my shorts. And then underneath my top or whatever, I just have a white Nike Pro. Keeps me warm. Uh, pushes the sweat away, does what it's supposed to do, I guess. And then for my shorts, I have a black pair if I decide to go black. And I've had these for a long time as well. Um, so yeah, nothing too crazy. And then I have a white pair as well, which I can't get them that clean anymore because again, they've been with me for a long time. Um, but yeah, I just like to have options and obviously if you can tell, growing up, I um, was a huge Cristiano Ronaldo fan, huge Manchester, Manchester United fan. Red is my favorite color, so it just makes sense for me to um, have us be in red. 
Uh, fortunate for me, my our league, we can pick one color. We have to pick a different color from another team. If we happen to play a team that's resemblance or has the same color by chance, then um, we, we decide before game time um, who has to change or we put on pennies. Um, but for my um, game match uh, top, I just have this old and I think I'm pretty sure this is a replica. So I don't really care about it getting dirty. I don't care about none of that. It cost me $35 with like $5 shipping. So that is my top. And this is what I feel comfortable wearing. All this stuff to me just makes me feel good. And that's more important to me is feeling good when you step out on the pitch, you know, having confidence. Um, and yeah, a lot of people probably look at me and think like, what is he doing? Why is he wearing a full kit? But I mean, it's not the brand. Like I'm not wearing Manchester United shorts. I'm not wearing Manchester United socks. I'm just wearing the color. And I like that. You know, I don't care what people say or think about me, but hey. And then I have the whiteboard, like I said, in case I feel like being a coach. Well, I mean, I am, I am coach player slash player for the team. Um, but yeah, and then I have this pump. I got this from five below, it's like five bucks. It works really good to get my, you know, air in, in, in the soccer and the football. And yeah, um, Nike has them for like 10 bucks at the outlets, but I just, this was cheaper and it works. It's a little bigger. I wish it was smaller, but it works. And that's all that matters to me. Um, I don't have to have name brand everything. Uh, okay, now let's go to our the boots, the main thing, the more, more important thing. What am I playing in right now? Um, honorable mention is just my only pair of, you know, AG turf boots that I have. And I really don't wear them that much just because if I'm going to play on a hard surface, I just will either wear whatever boot I have, Tiempo or like a Copa Mundial with the um, rounded stud. But these work okay. I've only worn them a few times to practice in, so that's why they look kind of brand new because I haven't really worn them that much. Um, now, moving forward to the important thing. So, it does get rainy here. Um, the ground does get muddy. So, I switched over for this season into the Mercurio Superfly 6 in the anti-clog um variation of course uh i was wearing some the black ones i have a temple i have a superfly and i have a vapor and i also have an older um hyper venom uh that i just don't want to wear because they're just so nice and you know it's a, such a sought after boot so i don't want to wear those but yeah the black one the anti-clog whatever they put on here the coating was starting to like peel off on those so i wanted to switch those to Kind of keep them a little bit longer i think i was wearing them probably the ground was just not soft like i thought even though it was muddy something was the abrasion or something was trying to um, rub it off so i wanted to keep those so yeah these are in there just back up you know sometimes i'll just keep these in the trunk and not even really have them in my bag but for the sake of the video i put them in my bag and then the boot of choice that i am wearing right now it's gonna be a shocker to a lot of you probably but it is the Vapor 10. And yeah, I actually got these when I came down um, to Orlando, actually, before I moved here to check out um, Nikes and stuff like that. When I got sent down here um, and uh, these were on sale at Disney Springs at the Pele Soccer and they were like a hundred bucks and I was like, oh, let me get those. Let me get those. They're a little bit older, obviously, from these are 2016, but I'm wearing these because they're just comfortable. Um, we don't get nothing like this anymore of this upper. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're just really nice and easy to clean up as well. And my boots will be covered in mud. This one, before I wash these, they were just a different color. And I get them nice and clean, they're easy to clean. And yeah, just such a nice boot. I'm gonna be sad when they finally fall apart on me. I don't know how much longer they're gonna last once they start coming apart. I don't know, I kinda wanna make a boot come apart because I've never had that and see if I can restore it, I guess. 
Um, so I'm going to try to play any as much as possible to get that separation or something. It's going to be sad, but hopefully I can do it um, and, and try to figure that out because, you know, I, I just love anything to do with boots, with sneakers, anything like that. And restoring is something, you know, I like cleaning, obviously. I like cleaning my stuff and making it look nice. So something that I, I will work on. So backup boots. If I'm not wearing these, I would wear the Temple Legend 9. The World Cup colorway is pretty nice. Um, and or um, the Phantom GX, believe it or not, is uh, that's what I started the season with. But then it was just getting too muddy and too bad. And I just felt like I just really like the stud um, setup because it's just very nice on this one. And it gives me the grip that I need and it's wet, slippery. This does. I don't need the S, um, sorry, the anti-clog metal um, cleats because these are just fine. But yeah, Phantom GX, if I wasn't going to wear these, probably be the Tampa or the GX. The Vapor and the Superfly are nice, but they take, for me, they're taking a lot longer to break in than I thought they would. And they just don't feel, they feel a little bit heavier, I guess, than previous models. So, and these are about as light as you can get. <laughs> so that's really nice. Being that I need all the help I can get to get my speed going now that I'm a little bit older, these are great. Anyways, guys, let me know what you thought about what's in my bag. Don't flame me too much just for trying to be a Ronaldo fanboy. You can call me that. Whatever. I just admire a player. Um, and I feel comfortable dressing like that. And yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you need any info about any of the stuff that I have, I can um, send you a link too. And with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. More videos to come. Peace.